Well, hello, active traders, and welcome to our premier episode of How to Trade Inverse ETFs, episode number one. These are instruments that go up spectacularly during a bear market sell-off, like I've been trading TVIX daily now since early October, uh, for good reason. You can see why. We're going to take a look at strategies for how to make the most of these highly potentially lucrative instruments that move up during a bear market sell-off. So I'm Ken Calhoun from Trade Mastery. How to Trade the Inverse ETFs, episode number one. And we're going to look at some advanced strategies. I'm going to jump right into, you know, practical, real-world, real-world tested uh, strategies, uh, not theory and not basic. So let's fasten our seatbelts and get underway. I cover all these types of strategies in my life. Trading the Open Trading Room for Active Traders as well at www.tradingtheopen.com. Com. As always, all information is for educational use only. I'm not making advice about what to buy, sell, or hold. And by watching this, you agree to not make actual trades. It's all for learning in a safe paper trading learning environment. Before we get underway, just a reminder, we do have my six-month live room special available at tradingopen.com forward slash subscribe. $4.95, a sale that's good only until Christmas Day. So just a few days left on that. So anyway, let's take a look at this. First of all, what are inverse ETFs, or technically ETNs, in the case of the VIX instruments like TVIX and VXX? I've been trading these guys for years, since before the fl original flash crash, you know, a decade plus back, so I know how to trade these. One of the things you want to look for are patterns that have new two-day highs in the inverse ETFs. Here's an example on TZA. It's a relatively inexpensive one down at $16 a share. Here's the two-day you know, day trading chart, and here is the three-month 90-day candlestick chart and you can see a spectacular run from 8 to 16. It's doubled during the market sell-off. These are the type of charts that I love to trade because you can use position sizing and scaling and I often add I'll start off maybe small 30, 40, 50 shares and then double in every couple of points on the way up and what I like about these guys is they have you know extremely high upside potential in terms of how far they could go compared to where they used to trade so anyway they're ideal for trading bear, bear markets. Now this is what I call Wall Street's best kept secret because why aren't they talking about this on financial news television or talking head TV? They talk about let's play defensive plays like utilities and healthcare and buy Apple on a bounce. Derp. I don't think so Sparky. We're all about professional price action trades. So we want things that are actually going up uh, regardless of what's going on out there so we don't care about inverted yield curves or trade wars with China we just care about the money so show me the money these are the kind of charts I love to trade because they tend to run up sharply during market sell-offs I was trading these yesterday and today during the FOMC release uh, did very well with TVIX especially you can see did the classic one two three pattern the knee-jerk reaction the corrective countermeasure then the resumption of the initial trend I've taught traders that since the year 2000 the one two three FOMC step and we did very well with that yesterday anyway what's the tip of the day what's our lesson number one well first is just become familiar with the charts and the ones in green here are ones you may want to pay attention to FAZ it's a finance triple bear a QID that's another one my favorite VIX ETNs are TVIX and VXX, uh, and there's also others like TZA and SQQ. And you notice the charts all look pretty much the same. They all got relatively similar chart patterns, which is good because that means you can. Uh, one of the tips is you can and should experiment with which price region you trade best yourself, and what do you feel most comfortable with based on your own personal experience and trading skills. You know, I, highly experienced professionals, I trade TVIX every single day because the point range is anywhere from 6 to 8 points, right? This guy ran 60 to 69, the 9 point range today and yesterday, right? From a base of 54 to high of 62, just under 63. So a 9 point range yesterday, a 9 point range today, that's good, you know, in terms of potential. Also big loss potential if you're on the wrong side of it. So for experienced traders traders only. VXX is a little tamer. It's got a lot. Notice please the TVIX percentage gain from open is 5% today and VXX is exactly half that. That's because they have different leverage uh, you know, amounts and so for that reason you may want to experiment with which one you trade best. 
So here's the tip of the day. And then I'm going to stop the video. Because it's been a long day and I'm busy. Uh, an intraday swing trading approach is one which you put on the trade early in the day. Say on the open or slightly after that on the opening bell. And to avoid getting shaken out, potentially, you put a stop loss at right under the opening low. Now notice yesterday that wouldn't have worked out because a loss under the previous day's low would have gotten taken out. Okay, so it's not 100%, but when it does work, it can work well like it did today. And so what you do is, what I do is I'll buy the high of day and then put a relatively wide stop for a day trade. It's an intraday swing, so we can use a little wider stops with smaller share size. Stop right under the pre-market gap uh, support low area. So that's where you put the initial stop. So you buy somewhere right above 30 to 50 cents above the opening high. Put a stop loss right under the pre-market low uh, and then let it go for the rest of the day. Now the tip of the day is, and this is critical that you understand this, monitor this and be ready to sell after 2 o'clock because often, oftentimes I found especially in trading these daily over the last couple of months, 2 o'clock is often the high of day and I don't know why that is. As late as 3 o'clock but usually 2 o'clock is kind of a good time to tighten in a trailing stop and that's sure enough where I sold my inverses today and then I rebought on the pivot into the close here for overnight swings but the point is look for 2 o'clock pivot and put it a tight trailing stop to lock in a profit. You know, th I use anywhere from 30 to 50 cents or so under the inside market uh, at 2 o'clock. So the 2 o'clock exit is an important concept when it comes to intraday swing trading. Lunchtime is also another likely pivot zone, but I like to let it work out and shake and bake till 2 o'clock or slightly thereafter. So sometime between 2 and 3 is a good time to close out the trade before it pulls back. And this isn't just you know unique to today. Look at yesterday. Same thing with FOMC. Notice please uh, right around that I guess it was maybe 3 o'clock or so. 2 to 3 was the high of day uh, yesterday as well. So as traders we're looking for these patterns. Whether it's a 3 o'clock high or 2 o'clock high. Be aware that there is going to be a high that's sometime before the 4 p.m. close. I know the market makers are going to hate me for telling you guys this but I like to give away the Secret sauce that Wall Street doesn't want you to know, and th th that's one pattern that I've found, you know, fairly effective. So you may want to experiment with that. Put on the trade high of day breakout between 9:30 and 10. Put the stop under the low of day, and then come back to it starting 2 o'clock and tighten in your trailing stop right after 2, and see how that works out for you. So anyway, that's it for now. I will see you guys next time with our next episode. That's good actionable advanced intel that nobody teaches traders because I'm the only guy who knows how to do this the right way. So anyway, uh, do be sure to join my six-month live room at tradingopen.com forward slash subscribe 495. And I'll see you guys on the other side. And again, I've been running the live room since August of 2000. So I've been in business nearly 20 years doing this. So I'm highly trusted. I've been teaching traders for almost two decades so I'm in you know I'm the original day trading university and I've been trusted by thousands of traders for many a year and so I hope that I've earned your trust with today's video do go ahead and join the live room and look for that two or three o'clock pivot in the inverse ETFs best wishes for success in your trades bye for now